Uh, I've got something here I want to share with you. Uh, legal analysis, uh, your, your, your uh, constitutional right to uh, uh, go door to door uh, doing visitation, uh, which is protected by the courts, uh, the Supreme Court, by the way. Um, the courts have acknowledged, and I'm just going to read what they've got written here. The courts have acknowledged that allowing residents and non-residents to make door to door visits to owners or tenants in private apartment complexes, trailer parks, or neighborhood developments is protected by the First Amendment right of free speech. The United States Supreme Court in Martin v. Struthers, 319 U.S. 114, 146-147 in 1943 held, freedom to distribute information to every citizen wherever he desires is to re uh, desires to receive it so clearly vital to the preservation of a free society that, putting aside reasonable police and health regulations of time and manner of, distri fo of distribution may be fully preserved. In Walker v. Georgetown Housing Authority, uh, in Massachusetts Supreme Court held that, and this was from 1997, quote, the constitutional right of the authority's tenants to receive communications may not be abridged by the blanket prohibition of campaigning and soliciting. Uh, the court recognized that it is up to the individual residents, even if they are not the not owners, to decide whether door-to-door -door communications are welcome. This court cited the, the United States Supreme Court decision in the aforementioned case of Martin v. Struthers. For centuries, it has been commonplace in this and other countries for persons not sp specifically invited to go from door to door and knock on doors or ring doorbells to communicate ideas to the occupants or to invite them to, a pol to political, religious, or other kinds of public meetings. Whether such visiting shall be permitted has in general been deemed to depend upon the will of the individual master of each household and not upon the determination of the community. That was Martin Verstruthers. Uh, yeah, that was the same case. Uh, note that the issue in this early 1943 Supreme Court decision was door-to-door -door communication with the purpose of inviting residents to religious meetings, exactly what you are engaged in. It is traditional to allow residents, whether owners or tenants, to decide whether they want to listen to at their doorstep. It is not the manager's responsibility to infringe on the tenant's right to choose and certainly not the right of another resident. <clears throat> so basically, and it goes on, it's court case after court case. Um, it basically just, it, what I just said, it's not the managers, it's not the communities, it's not the city's responsibility. Um, so if someone's got a, 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 a thing on their door that says no soliciting, you're not selling anything, you're giving them free information and you can talk to them. It's perfectly fine. Um, the conclusion, I'm just cutting this short here, church visit, uh, visitations or private, uh, church visitations to private apartments, neighborhood developments or trailer parks may not be prohibited when the residents themselves choose to object individually to a particular visit. The apartment complex or trailer park manager may not make a blanket, blanket prohibition on behalf of the entire complex. However, if an individual tenant opposes the church visitor's presence at their doorstep, uh, the visitor must leave immediately and not return to that particular address again. If the visitor returns, the tenant or resident of the apartment or trailer could have the visitor arrested for trespass. Even when one particular resident objects, church visitors may continue to visit all other residences in the uh, apartment complex or trailer park when the householders have not objected. It is the responsibility of each individual tenant or resident, not of the complex manager, to object to a visit. Okay. Um, we hope this information is helpful to you. Feel free to share a copy of this memo with the apartment or building owners and managers, police, safety, or uh, city officials. Um, <clears throat> this was written by Valerie Hogan. I'm going to give share the information. There's a phone number here, 888-252. 1969. This is from the Gibbs and Associates Law Firm. Um, and uh, you can let me here, get this probably free. I'm going to make copies of this and just spread it around. Um, you can see it there. Get the information. I hit pause because I'm not going to hold it for the next few minutes while you copy it down. Um, <clears throat> but nonetheless, it's uh, good information and I it, it, it 
completely legal. It always has been legal. And it was ruled by the Supreme Court multiple times in, in many, many, many different Supreme Court in the states. Um, so hope that helps and uh, releases some stress and hope you, hopefully you can do something with it. So thank you very much. Uh, if you have any questions, yeah, just call that number, 888-252-1969. Uh, good luck to you and thank you for listening. Uh, subscribe to my channel, by the way. Have a good day. Bye.